Guys, I'm a little sweaty because I just watched the CLK. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take your convertible top down manually because that's a common problem on these uh, CLKs. So I will show you exactly how you can do it. Uh, this will require two people um, just because it's, it's a little heavy to get you know things rolling. But I'll be showing you how to put it down and how to put it back up, right? First thing you would need, actually, it's in my trunk. There, there's gonna be two things you would need, actually. So the first one actually comes equipped with your uh, CLK, and that's this guy right here. This comes from factory. This was put in your car just because when your top isn't working anymore, and let's just say it starts raining, you could use this to bring the top uh, back up. That's why Mercedes included this in your trunk. So if you don't have that, you can be like me and use an old belt. It's broken, but you need something longer than this. I'll show you exactly how uh, you're going to use this belt, but you should have both this that came with your uh, CLK. And there's one more thing. You are going to need a size six Allen wrench to, uh, undo the uh the uh, top in there i'll show you exactly how that looks but first of all let's begin with what you would need to do all right so coming into the trunk once you undo this uh housing or this door right here to locate where you you would uh, refill your um convertible fluid uh this over here you're gonna pull on it so pull out and then turn it. Mine is currently pulled out and turned. You can kind of see there's a little bit of some space in between there. That's how you want yours to look like. So once you pull out and turn it, it releases, um, it pretty much releases pressure from your uh, convertible top. So you can be able to manually put it up and down. Um, let's see, this screw right here, you want to unscrew it just a little bit so it can relieve pressure as well. Uh, this, uh, I'm not sure what spec that is, but you would use an Allen wrench also to uh, undo that. Just turn it clockwise, maybe a full um, 360 degrees, uh, maybe twice, and then that's pretty much it. So you would pull this out and then you could turn it either left or right, as long as you have that space in between. Um, same with this side as well. Mine is sticking out, but if you look for yours, pull it out turn it either left or right. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna release pressure from the uh, system and then you can start putting the uh, top down. So for the belt, uh, pretty much you're gonna loop it in between um, these two hinges right here and then the uh, back hinge right there. And I'll show you guys how that looks like. And then you just bring it out like that. This belt is broken. I'm gonna have to use something else. It's not long enough. But let me show you how it looks like with the, you know, the strap that actually came with your CLK. In between. And then you just have it like that. So just make sure you hold on to these and then just shut the uh, the trunk and it will look something like this. All right, so second thing you would need to do actually is go in your car, stop the beeping noise, put all the windows down. Okay. 
Oh, cool. And then, um, if you look up at the top, um, there's this guy here. You can just pull it out by hand. It comes off easily. And if you look in there, that's what I was talking about. So you're gonna use this guy and then just turn it, but not yet. So you guys can see the windows are all down and you're gonna have to lift up, kind of like up and then towards you. So. So that's how that looks. So lift up and then towards you while you're, yeah, doing both those motions at the same time, pretty much, yeah. Um, once you have that, then you can go ahead and uh, undo the top, which I'm gonna do here real quick. All right, so I'm here in the top. I'm just gonna twist. So I went to, what would you call it, my right? And it's all the way undone. All right, next you're gonna lift the uh, back window up. And after you lift that up, you're gonna lift this up as well. Okay, so this is how it's looking. What you're gonna do next is put this back down and make sure the inner portion of your trunk, the um, piece that supports the uh, top is also put down. And then you are gonna lift this up Next thing you're gonna do is uh, push this down. There's one thing you wanna do. This piece right here, you wanna align it at the uh, nipple right here, the pointy nipple right here, uh, just right underneath of it. So this would pretty much go like that. So here we go. Once you have it like this, you just push this, slide it. Watch your fingers. Yeah, watch for your fingers. And that's pretty much it. Um, the only way to know if you've got it completed is by opening your trunk. If your trunk doesn't open, it's not all the way seated on there, so you need to push on a little bit further. Same process, but uh, I'll just show you exactly how I do it. So here we go. Same thing, opening the trunk up, putting the, uh, the uh, leather piece in between right there and then uh, lifting it back up. So I'll show you guys as we go. Before you lock it, you want to lift this part up via the window. And you can actually close this part. Okay, now I'm gonna lock it before we put this down. Oh, and locking it, you go the opposite direction. I just locked it, this part goes back in. It doesn't look or whatever, but once you're pushing this in, it's gonna lock into place. 
And that's pretty much it. Now, if your trunk doesn't open, when my trunk opens, that means everything is pretty much completed. All right guys, quick little video. I thought I'll show you guys, since it's summer, um, how to manually put your top down and up, back up. Um, these things, they're quite expensive to get them repaired. You would have to tear apart a lot of stuff in the interior to replace the hydraulic cylinders that are leaking. Pretty much it's the hydraulic cylinders that leak. That's why you're not able to put your top up. Uh, if you're losing fluid or the uh, pump in the trunk isn't working like I showed you earlier. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So mine, uh, the left main hydraulic cil cylinder is leaking. Um, so mine will go down, but struggle to come back up. Sometimes you would have to try a few times before it'll let itself down. So I just manually do it. But um, I think I'm gonna sometime replace it before, hopefully this summer. Eventually I'll re go ahead and uh, replace all of it. Uh, type hydraulics actually um, resurface your uh, cylinders and they pretty much last again for another 20 years. Short video, I thought I'll show you guys and um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button and I'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.